Jean-Claude Killy in 1981 mooted the idea they should apply for the Olympic Games and today he will see the realization of his dream and remember that the Olympic Games last held here in France in Grenoble in 1968 and Jean-Claude Killy was the man who took away three gold medals. 82 Madame, people now gathering around the 35 meter high pole Monsieur and for the benefit of everybody who can see but can't hear, the ceremony now will also be conducted for the deaf. Olympic d'hiver d'Albertville et de la Savoie. Nous souhaitons la bienvenue à tous les athlètes. Bienvenue aux spectateurs et 82 aux people here, completely covered except for white faces. And that was intentional on now welcoming everybody here to the 16th Olympic Games. The third time they've ever been held in France. The first time, the very first Winter Olympic Games in 1924. Because as strange as it may seem, the Winter Olympics were actually held in the summer before that. sous une bannière de fraternité internationale au nom du comité d'organisation et de tous les Français, nous souhaitons aux athlètes succès et In the name of France and the organizing committee, they now welcome all the competitors in the Olympic Games and long live the Olympic Games. And the return now of the French Flying Patrol as they go high above the Albertville Stadium, the stadium which has been built purely for the opening and the closing ceremonies, and now wait for this. Under the command of squadron leader Daniel Herrera, the Olympic colors come out to the rear of the jets. Every one of these colors can be found in one of the Olympic flags throughout the world. Very deceptive as the jets head towards the mountains. It's a fearsome f uh, sight as they head now towards the mountains at low altitude, climb away from the celebrations here. And as Ken and I hinted earlier, we can assure you it's a most marvelous program which has been choreographed for the next couple of hours. This next segment is the music of the nations. We've got 65 roller skaters. They're uh, all European champions. They're very, very clever people. You'll see some uh, marvelous figures in the next few minutes as they make their way around this grand arena. Simulating the ice uh, using roller blades, which have been brought in from the United States. And the theme throughout will be all of the Olympic sports. For the first time, the Olympic Games being held at 10 separate venues throughout the Savoie, Albertville being chosen as the centerpiece because it has no competition with any of the skiing venues up in the mountains. Therefore, it seemed a non-political venue to name as the candidate for the Olympic Games and not to alienate any of the venues throughout the Savoie. They have all been equally treated and during these next 16 days, they will thrill us with what they can produce. The dance reflects the meeting of nations, equality and brotherhood. throughout the next couple of hours the mood will change constantly but they never lose sight of the achieving of the ambition of reflecting that this is to be a very different Olympic Games with all of its venues instead of the one city in control so you will see each of the sports represented Which is a sign of the things to come because uh, we have been told that in future maybe the games will not be allocated to one particular venue they will be spread 
maybe over two or three countries or two or three cities, who knows. But that seems to be the sign of things to come, as uh, the president of the IOC announced earlier in the week. And the hoisting of the 65 members of the International Olympic Committee. The flags flying high as the Alps all around. So we listen to the music of Ludwig van Beethoven, the hymn à la joie. And coming into the stadium now, 12 skaters dressed as stars. Five pointed stars, the symbol, by the way, of the Olympic Games here is uh, Magic. And uh, it's a five pointed star. One of the stars has a red top to it, and that signifies the chimney sweeps of the Savoir, who used to go off around France wearing red hats. This is a tribute from the European community, which consists of 12 countries now, including the United Kingdom, Spain, Greece, and a combined population of some 340 million people speaking nine different languages. How strange it is, Ken, when we talk of the coming together of the European community, that the Soviet Union will be here as the unified team this year, breaking up into separate republics. They once called us old, but we're feeling quite new. With a nod to the past, to the future, we bow. The Pack Stadium in Albeville, and just out of sight of our camera, are the two stadiums where the ice skating competitions, the figures, and the speed skating, and the new sport this year, the short track Olympic competition will be held. The main entrance there, silhouetted in the background, where all the athletes will march in a few moments' time. European market paying their respect to this magnificent spectacular. More than 300 dignitaries, including the royal families of Britain, Norway, Spain, Denmark, and in fact the entire French government are seated here in the arena. Already, Phil, an opening ceremony with plenty of French style. Fireworks is part of French life. They always celebrate everything with a bang. And as the fireworks begin to go off, so the flags of Europe are hoisted. <laughs> 